I'm a big fan of Luminar looks. Looks are one of the best things about Luminar Flex. They offer these one-click recipes that take an ordinary image and really give it some style and depth. Let me show you how I use Luminar looks in my workflow. The first thing I want you to notice is that along the very bottom of the interface, I have a panel with all the professional looks available to me. The professional looks are just one of the look collections that are installed when you download and install the Luminar Flex plugin. In addition to the professional looks, we have looks for portraits, ones for landscapes, some creative ones, aerial ones if you're using a drone, as well as some that emulate black and white film and some analog looks. Now applying a look is as easy as clicking on the thumbnail. And what happens when you click on the thumbnail, a variety of filters are applied to your image with some settings already applied. And I can go through and try a bunch of different looks. In this case, I'm looking at black and white nostalgia. And I like what it does, but I'm not locked in to precisely what this look has to offer. If I think it's a little bit too strong, I can dial it back with the amount slider and blend it back with my original image. So for instance, if I look at, say, Bright Day, it really is over the top, and I may want to dial that back and get the image the way I like it. Let's try applying a couple of other looks. There's a Sharpness Improver. Kind of like the way this is working my image. Uh, let's try Structure Boost. This also is giving me stylistically what I was hoping for. Now, the great thing about any of these looks in addition to being able to blend them back with the original image, is that I can adjust any of the filters that are used to create this look and customize it to my liking. So I really like where this is going, but I want to give it a little more structure. I want it to be a little more grungy. And maybe I'll add another filter to stylize it. So I can click Add Filter, and I'll go to Details Enhancer. And I'm going to click on the image to bring it to 100%. I like to work with my image at 100% resolution when I'm using filters such as the Detail Enhancer or Denoise or Grain because I can really see how it affects my image. I'm going to add a little bit of the small details and medium details. This is making it nice and crunchy. That's the look I was trying for. And I'll add a little bit of a dramatic look to it. And this is going to give me kind of a washed out feel and maybe punch up the contrast. I really like the way this image looks. This was the before, and this is the after, and I was able to achieve that with just a few clicks. Now, another great thing about looks is if I've modified one, I can save it as my own custom look. All I have to do is go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click Save Luminar Look, give it a name. We'll call this Abba Grunge and I'll press Enter to save it. Now take a look what happens at the bottom. You'll notice that I'm no longer in my original professional looks. I'm in something called User Luminar Looks. So whenever you save a custom look, it gets put into your own User Luminar Looks collection. And this is great because you can very easily access the stylistic looks that you've created. As you saw, this look was created based upon an existing look that was in the professional collection. But if I wanted to, I could just start fresh, delete all of my filters, apply a couple of filters here, maybe Accent AI, Dehaze, go back and add some detail enhancement, kick up the structure, and maybe bring down that saturation a little bit. And I can now save these filters as another custom look. And I'll just call this Grunge 2. To access these custom looks, to perhaps make a backup or to move them or to share them with a friend, all I need to do is go up under File and show my Luminar Looks folder. And this will reveal these looks that I've created. What's really nice, if a friend creates a look that I really like, they can send me this look file, and all I have to do is drop it into my custom folder, and it will appear in my user look collection. Additional look packs are also available from the Skylum website. To find those, open up the Luminar Looks collection pop-up, click on Get More Luminar Looks. 
This will take you to the Luminar Marketplace, where you can find a variety of free and paid looks. Let's scroll through and find a look that catches my eye. There we go. That one catches my eye. It's a picture of an eye. It's a free look. So I'm going to click on Learn More, and here I can see what the look offers, and I can step through the variety of looks to see if I like them, and click on Download. After it's finished downloading, I'm going to return back to the Luminar Flex plugin, and under File, I can choose Add Luminar Looks Collection. I'll navigate to where the file was downloaded, in this case my Downloads folder, select that Look Pack, and click Open. Once installed, you can access these new looks in the Luminar Looks panel. And as you can see, these are very stylized in the way they will affect my image. And let me go ahead and try some of these. I really kind of like what the colors do, but in this case, I also liked the way that I stylize the image. And what I'm going to do is actually apply two different looks to this image and stack them on top of each other. I'm going to go back to the custom ones in my User Luminar Looks library, choose Grunge 2. This gives me the style that I like. And now, to add that second look on top of this, I'm going to add an adjustment layer by clicking on the little plus sign to the right of the word Layers and add a new adjustment layer. Let's jump back into Atomic Colors. And now I can apply some of these styled looks on top of my image. This has the color grading that I really like. I'm going to dial it back just a little bit. Let's take a look at our original image. It's nice, but nothing special. But this has a lot more style, and I really like the way it's developed. When I'm done, I simply hit Apply. It sends it back to my host application. In this case, it's Adobe Lightroom Classic. As you can see, Luminar looks are not only powerful, they're a lot of fun. Now, for people who buy Luminar Flex in the month of July, we're offering a special package containing over 300 different looks that you can download from the Skylum website. Now, go ahead and play with some of the Luminar looks yourself and take your images from ordinary to extraordinary.